What's up guys, I'm Manish from RebellionRider.com and I'm back again with another quick and short SQL tutorial. This is second tutorial in Alter Table series and 22nd tutorial in SQL tutorial series. In the last video we saw how to rename an existing table and today in this SQL tutorial we will see how to add a column to an existing table using Alter Table statement. Let's jump over to the SQL developer and start the phone. If you remember, we have created a simple table by the name of test, which has only one column test name in our last tutorial. So today we will add another column test ID to this table test. Before writing and executing the query, we will first see the syntax. Our DDL statement starts with alter table where alter and table both are keywords, which are followed by the name of the table in which you want to add a column. Then there is a add, which is again a keyword. Note. Here we simply write add, not add column. Writing add column raises a syntax error. After add, we have our column definition, which has our new column name and data type along with the column width or say size. Now let's create a query for adding column test ID to our existing table test. First, let me show you the structure of the test table for that. As you can see, it has only one column. Now let's add the column. Statement start with alter table, followed by our existing table name, which is test, then the keyword add, and then our column definition, where test ID is our column name, which has number data type and has column width three. Execute the query. Okay, table altered. Let's check again by describing our table test. Let me clear so that you people can see what's happening here. Okay, let's check again. Let me clear script output also. Okay, now execute. Now, as you can see, we have two columns, test name and test ID. Similarly, if you want to drop a column from an existing table, you can again use alter table statement. Let's see how. Say we want to drop column test name from our table test. Let me clear the script output. Alter table followed by our table name, which is test and then drop table, which is an action you want to perform on the table and then the name of the column which you want to drop. That's it. Execute. Table test altered. Let me describe our table test once again so that you can see the structure of the table. As you can see, now we have only one column test ID. You can visit my website to read more such topic and you can download this SQL script from my website. Again, link is in the description box. I share all the resources used in my tutorial using copy cloud. You can also join copy cloud and get 15 GB lifetime free cloud storage. You can earn extra 5 GB by using my referral link, which means if you use my referral link, you can earn total 20 GB lifetime free cloud storage. You can find the referral link in the description box as well as on my website. Hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you soon with another SQL tutorial. Till then, take care and keep watching. Thanks. This is Manish.